Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining me at this TEDx event. We are here to discuss a pressing issue, the shortcomings of our current education system. In a world full of rapid innovation and technological advancements, our education system has failed to keep up. Rigid curricula, standardized testing, and unequal access to resources hinder our ability to prepare students for the future. First and foremost, the one-size-fits-all approach to education neglects students' personal strengths and individual learning styles. This system stifles creativity and prevents students from pursuing their passions. Additionally, the reliance on standardized testing requires educators to teach to the test, often at the expense of critical thinking and problem-solving skills. Lastly, the disparity in access to quality education is widening the gap between the privileged and the underprivileged. Lack of funding, qualified educators, and access to resources in underserved areas perpetuates the cycle of poverty and diminished opportunities. It is time to reimagine education, creating a system that is adaptive, flexible, and caters to each individual need, encourages innovation and collaboration, and ensures equal access for all. The future of our society depends on it. Thank you. One more thing, every word in the talk I just delivered was written by AI. I'm guessing that blows your mind. It blew my mind too, considering I spent six months on this talk. <laughs> but I'm here to encourage you to consider seeing AI differently. Who knows, maybe it could even be beneficial. By the way, when I say AI, I'm referring to artificial intelligence. You know, the classic think for itself robot that we've seen in countless movies, like Megan, The Matrix, Robocop, and Wally. But all it really is, at least on this stage, is a computer science term that refers to a machine that has the ability to perform tasks that we thought only humans could do. This could be anything from creating images to creating music to solving complex problems and riddles. AI has been in development ever since 1956, but we've seen rapid growth in the strides it's making recently. In, early, in the early stages of AI, it could only perform very primitive tasks. In a way, it was similar to a calculator, performing basic functions. But now, modern AI computers have the ability to store, sort, combine, and generate massive amounts of information that can be used to perform human-like tasks. More recently, back in late December, ChatGPT3, the first mainstream AI chatbot, was released to the masses. Needless to say, it sent ripples everywhere becoming the fastest online service to reach 1 million users in five days and reaching 100 million users after only two months. But what is it? An AI chatbot is basically a computer program where a human can talk to a robot that uses AI to respond to a given prompt. For example, this poem was written by the AI chatbot ChatGPT4. Given the prompt, write a short poem about how AI can be used for good. In silicon circuits, a spark unites. A new age dawns, a day from night. Minds entwined, human and machine, merge to forge a future pristine. A force for good and bites we trust, to heal our wounds, to lift the just. A guiding hand, a shepherd wise, to map the stars, to harmonize. We learn to grow, AI by our side, through the darkest days, we shall abide. In unity, we mend, we nurture, crafting bonds and code, our future. With wisdom shared, we shape tomorrow, dissolving fear, despair, and sorrow. Together we rise, of mind and heart, a partnership, a brand new start. Wow. A prompt like this can be given to AI chatbots, and it will, in most cases, produce a high-quality, unique, human-like response in a matter of seconds. But how does it do this? It does this by using its pre-trained knowledge to combine similar words and phrases to the given prompt. So, given that we wanted a poem, it knew to give us rhymes and a poetic format. And this can apply to any form of media. If you have a thesis, it can write an essay. So, if I have an essay due next week, and I use this to write it, is that cheating? By the time we return from winter break, 
many schools across the world had blocked all AI applications in order to further investigate this new tech. Then our teachers gave us, our teachers gave us talks about how using this on our work was cheating, and there would be serious consequences if we used it on our essays. They said that if we rely on AI to do the work, we wouldn't be practicing essential writing skills, skills that we all need in the future, right? But what if those skills that we consider essential today are already outsourced for tomorrow? Think about it. What good is it to know formulas and how to do intense mathematical equations if we have a calculator? Is that cheating? Is using spell check cheating? How's the economy fared through innovation? When the internet was released, businesses did not just say, oh, let's keep it the old ways of doing business. No, it completely changed how businesses worked because of its mass efficiency, it gave them a competitive advantage. As time goes on, we will only see more and more AI applications. AI will have the same impact on the economy. Businesses are already using it to help cut inefficient and expensive human labor and to write massive documents that would take humans days, if not weeks, when AI can do it in minutes, if not seconds. As time goes on, we will only see more and more AI used in the workplace, and this will overflow into our everyday lives. And what institutions are supposed to prepare us for the future? Schools. So AI should be used in schools, but how? Teachers spend countless hours preparing and creating lesson plans for their students. But now, AI can create those lesson plans in a matter of seconds, and they can cater to each individual student's needs. On the subject of saving time, AI can be taught all grammar and spelling rules. Students can use this to help edit their work, and teachers can use this to grade. Because teachers can use this software to help save countless hours, they can now focus on the content and literary accuracy of the essays, things that AI can't check for yet. Artificial intelligence is not just a thing in sci-fi movies anymore. It's here and here to stay. So we must embrace it. It should be used and praised by schools, not blocked and condemned. Our generation needs to get familiarized with it. So as more and more AI applications are released, I encourage you to see it differently as innovation and opportunity not an adaptive virus to be exterminated. The AI revolution is coming, and there's nothing you can do to fight it. And by the way, this was a human-generated TEDx talk. Thank you.